Today we're going to make a cereal box organizer. This is what it'll look like when it's done. So what you're going to need is a cereal box. I like this one because it's really big. This is some contact paper that is going to cover the cereal box so it's not look like a cereal box anymore. Some black duct tape because it matches the black contact paper. Some scissors and a hole puncher. Okay, so I'm going to trim this box down to where the way I want it. So I like to make an outline so that I don't cut it wrong. So we're just going to make a little outline. Doesn't have to be perfect because it's a cereal box craft. Like that. So that way you can see your boxes sticking out and know what's what. pretty good. Okay. Throw that away. I missed the trash. That's okay. All right. So now I got to figure out how much contact paper I need. So I'm just going to kind of roll that out it's like wrapping a present. So I kind of got it wrapped around that, you see? So now I can tell how much length I need. And I'm going to cut off so there's just a little bit extra. Now we gotta get the sticky part to show. So we gotta peel this off. It's kinda of hard. Okay, so we're just gonna slowly kinda of peel this peel this off like this. Really put your aggression into it. It's therapeutic. Urgh. There we go. So I'm not gonna undo all of it. Just enough so I can get it started on the box. Like that. Press that down real good. There we go. Fold that up around there. Fold it up. And just peel. cut off the extra and I'm just going to kind of cut it down like this in the corners. I'm just going to fold that right on in. Just like that. You don't need to cut it off. You just fold it in. There you go. And that way you won't be able to see the inside of the box. It'll be It'll be disguised. It's okay if that happens. So we're going to cover that with some duct tape in a minute. Okay. So I'm going to kind of trim this down some more. You'll figure it out. You're smart people. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of that. So you're just going to kind of... Stick that down like that. It'll look like that. See? Now, I'm going to line the edges with duct tape because one time I made it without duct tape and I put the holes here and it ripped. So the duct tape will help keep it together. Okay. So I'm just going to put it like halfway like that. Rip off the extra and just fold it over like that. And then I'm going to put some around the other edges.
looks like when it's done. And it's not perfect, but it doesn't matter because it's just going to hold your aluminum foil. And it's going to be inside the cabinet. Unless you want it to be outside your cabinet. In which case, you should make it look prettier. I'm giving this one away anyway. So that's that. So then what you can do, I like to take a hole puncher and punch two holes in it. One on each side through the duct tape. And then you just hang two hooks on your cabinet and hang it up. And you put your aluminum foil in there like this. See? There you go. There's your kitchen craft organizer. You're welcome. It's kind of hard. I tried to hide it. Okay. <laughs> okay, serious face again.